Well, hello there. Let's talk about idea pins for the holiday season. We get this question a lot. How do I make an idea pin for the holidays? We don't really get that question a lot, actually. We often get a lot of confused looks when we tell people to make idea pins for the upcoming holidays. People are wondering, what do I do? Like, what do I talk about in the idea pin? What kind of information do I put on it? Well, let me give you a few ideas. Today, I'm gonna to talk about specific niches and what you could do, some ideas that you could do for the holiday season, marketing to your people over there on Pinterest. It's gonna be action-packed and full of good info. Let's do it. Hey guys, it's Tabby from Simple Pin Media and we are here to help you find your perfect person on Pinterest. Okay, so idea pins are important on Pinterest. I've been saying it, I'll keep saying it. They're important to create because they are the top prioritized pin format on Pinterest. So Pinterest is dispersing those puppies. And since they are important any time of the year, they're uber important during the busy holiday season. Guys, this is the time that you get to really showcase your expertise, your products, the problem solver that you are. And during the last three to four months of the year, Searches are up on Pinterest. Pinners are looking for tips, tricks, tutorials, recipes, ideas, solutions. So use idea pins to give great value and keep them coming back. Gain trust, yo. Here are some reasons why you want to use idea pins in your holiday marketing strategy. Brand awareness, to display your industry authority, provide value, to just be seen more in pinners feeds, the ability to link to your products, and just to increase engagement on your content in general on Pinterest. And when it comes to planning your idea pins, what you're gonna say in them and when. I like to think of idea pins as certain types. So this really helps me kind of narrow down what I'm going to talk about and why I'm talking about it in this certain way. So for example, here are the types that I have come up with that help me plan and execute idea pin creation. First type would be what I would call a product walkthrough. This is where you get to show your audience how a product looks or works in real life. It could be several slides or it could just be one solid video of you basically showing off your product in real life what it would look like if they got that product. Another type would be a concept explanation or an informative idea pin. This is where if you have knowledge or expertise in a certain topic you can really show them off by explaining maybe how to journal or how to relieve stress or how to organize your business in XYZ way. Another type that I like to create would be a helpful tip. It's similar to concept explanation, but it's more of a quick, just put it out there, hey, did you know this kind of idea pin? This is gonna be something that you create when you have maybe customers who ask a common question. For example, we get questions about how to write the perfect pin description. That would be a helpful tip. Hey, wanna know how to create a perfect pin description? Here's how, dot, dot, dot. Another type of idea pin that you could create would be a service or a product launch promotion. So if you have a new product coming out or you have a new service coming out, it's like an ad. You can just talk about it. Hey, I have this new thing you should try. And then the last idea pin type that I like to create would be audience engagement. Really the sole purpose of this type of idea pin is to increase engagement. So I'm looking for our audience to leave comments or save the idea pin or react to any of the stickers that I leave on the idea pin. And the reason why I like to make these types of idea pins is because when you have increased engagement on your idea pins, Pinterest is gonna pick up on that and disperse more of your content to more people. Okay, so let's talk about some specific examples for specific niches. And keep in mind, all of these examples are specifically for the holiday season. Starting with the beauty niche. Obviously, makeup tutorials is great as it pertains to holidays, holiday parties, gatherings, costumes, costume parties. You know, you could also talk about certain beauty products that you love for 
gifting. There's an endless list of hair styles that you could provide tutorials for throughout the holiday season. Now let's talk about ideas for the travel niche. You could talk about best places to stay during holiday travel, best times to fly during holiday travel, best Chinese restaurant for Christmas dinner, <laughs> maybe how to travel with gifts in tow. That could be a problem for people. And obviously knowing what to do with the children as you travel. Good luck. Let's move to the DIY decor niche. You could go into great detail showing your audience how to create homemade gifts. You could provide fun DIY activities like tutorial or just suggestions for family who are visiting in town, how to ribbon sew, and obviously all things holiday decor. You could even narrow it down to like a shelf or a like built-in shelving, how to decorate for the holiday season, or what to do with your fire mantle. When you break it down, there are so many idea pins that you could create because there's all kinds of areas in your home and outside your home that you can decorate. Health and wellness. This one's gonna be a little bit more outside of the box, but you can guarantee that people are still searching these things because you know what? Sometimes the holidays can be stressful, whether it is about the loss of loved ones during the holidays or visiting loved ones that are not so great. <laughs> so things that you could talk about in your idea pins would be how to stay grounded during the holiday season or ways to find peace during this hard season due to loss, grief. You could also talk about holiday journaling and staying active during the holiday season and even exercising while traveling because you know that gets tricky education educate this one's going to be for all of the teachers pay teachers out there creating curriculum for the teachers the homeschoolers you have a lot to do you could create idea pins that give tips for the educators on preparing now so that when they are on holiday break they don't have to work a ton as they prepare to go back to school in the new year Obviously fun holiday activities that a teacher can do with their class during all the holiday festivities. Showcase all of your holiday content curriculum that you have created. This is key. This is where you get to show your audience how to use your products in the classroom. Okay, this is probably like the biggest niche on Pinterest and that would be food. You know you have to create some idea pins, right? Yes, you do because people are gonna be searching for food holiday specific food. You can create a ton of different idea pins all about showing people different recipes, how to create it, the ingredients and the instructions include all of the information they need. The idea pin needs to be valuable. Main dishes, sides, appetizers, desserts, drinks, and wrap it up with a holiday theme. Next, I would check trends for what's trending in the food world. So for what I'm talking about, you know how the avocado toast was like a trend and last year it was charcuterie boards of all different types of charcuterie boards. There might be trending food, what do you even call it? Food content that you could spin for your audience. Or you could provide like a tutorial on how to prepare this one little welcome dish as people walk through the door. And for the last niche that I want to talk about today, it would be business to business, B2B. This one's tough, obviously. We at Simple Pin Media are B2B and we do have holiday content actually. And so here are a few ideas if you are B2B as it pertains to holiday content specifically. Create gift guides for the work from home crowd. Provide tutorials or tips on how to automate systems for the entrepreneur trying to run their business and have some holiday gatherings, some breaks, you know, rest or just trying to go shopping for the Christmas presents. Another thing you could do during the holiday season would be talk about your services. Services that provide relief for the entrepreneur, or business owner, or creator that you are speaking to so that they can then take a break from 
all the work they have to do and actually partake in the holiday festivities with their family and friends. So I know you're going to have some ideas or maybe even questions that you can drop below in the comments. And if this kind of like created all these thoughts and ideas for you, you should organize them. And the way to organize them would be to download our idea pin content planning worksheet. This worksheet helps you write out all of your ideas and then schedule them. And it's free and I'll leave the link below. And if you need more information about creating idea pins, there it is for you. See ya.